Yo, what's up, boys? It's Juicy J here. If you guys don't know who I am, I'm a professional Clash Royale player. I'm the World Cyber Games 2019 World Champion, and my goal for this YouTube channel is to share my gameplay and thought processes in order to help you guys improve your Clash Royale game. And you know, I hope you guys enjoy my videos. And I hope you guys learn something in every single one of them. Anyways, let's go and hop into the video. I'll see you guys right now. We're sitting at 62 23. 150th in the world um right where we were last episode i believe but maybe a little bit higher but anyways yeah we're sitting at 152 we're trying to get into that top 100 in this video so i'm sure you guys noticed last video we made our very own deck i've never done that before um i was actually surprised to see that some people actually copied my deck i'm like super excited you know making my very first deck like ever trying to make a deck and you know people are copying it so i'm pretty happy about that but this is gonna be a modified version of that deck we're using the earthquake instead of the poison obviously the earthquake nerf was pretty solid but you know with the royal hogs i think you do need that earthquake to help break through the buildings such as tesla and especially against expo i just hate expo i always want to beat expo so i'm using the earthquake to try and break through those expo decks and then instead of heal spirit obviously heal spirits it's a really nice card you know you can still use the old version but with this new version we have that goblin cage with the goblin cage um you know you're gonna be able to counter like hog um golem anything that's targets building like giant just overall very very solid card goblin brawler you know once it pops out you can be able to counter push it with the royal hogs very very solid deck in general but let's go and hop into the games here hopefully i find a game quickly but yeah i'm gonna go ahead and cut right now and i'll see you guys once we're in all right hopping in the first game Anies, Annie. I don't know how to pronounce that, dude. <laughs> I feel like that's always the case. Let's go with bats here with, uh, with that for that. Now let's go with some royal hogs. Earthquake at the ready. You could definitely potentially rock it or fireball. Didn't expect the fireball since he's got that golden barrel, but very well played. I guess we'll know that he's fireball from now on. Going to always split royal hogs from now on, especially with roll with the fireball being cycled. Unless we can maybe bait some fireballs with that firecracker. But honestly, hopefully, uh, you know, probably, maybe, <laughs> maybe a good matchup. We'll see. I would probably guess he has like skeleton army, maybe even mini horde. So you never really know. So uh, yeah, all I'm saying is we just gotta be cautious right now. Feel me? We're gonna go firecracker right here. Help out just a bit. Okay, so interesting. I don't really know what to think of all this yet. <laughs> I've never seen like a deck like this. Or it's been a while, at the very least. Let's go and split my hogs right now. Hold up by some bats. Let's get a nice little log for that gun barrel. Looks like he's got a very low amount of elixir. Honestly, we're gonna do an amazing amount of damage on both sides. Real hogs OP. He just did not know what he wanted to fireball either. Hopefully, firecracker can kill this before it gets another shot off. It gets another shot off. That's pretty sad, but you know we are still up quite a bit of a damage. He's gonna go and bandit this. It's fine. We can just go in skeletons in the middle area. Bring it in range of both towers once again. Even if the bandit's full health, fun fact, you can actually defend perfectly with that. I did not realize he was out cycling me there. Well played. Honestly, Rohawk same lane here. I think it's the move. Yeah, he's low on elixir. Look at that prince shredding that dark prince, eating it for breakfast, and he's so low on elixir. Double elixir is gonna come in, and he's gonna get that goblin king down. But we're gonna get that earthquake value, at least kill these uh, uh spear gobbies. Go firecracker and back. We have log and cycle. We're one earthquake away. He's laughing. He knows that we got that victory in the bag right now. Let's go try and finish it off with the roll hogs, but we are gonna earthquake as well. To be honest just to uh you know make sure we kill that tower also to damage that uh super annoying little princess as well though you know firecracker's gonna be destroyed that and then he's gonna go tricky barrel i'm sure he's gonna send an email after that perfect defense come on bro you know you want to send one no nope, he's too focused <laughs> he thinks he's a chance still poor guy he's gonna go ahead and pre-log for my skeletons but we got that goblin cage inbound he's going with a fireball to try and take out those real hogs and there's the emo that we were waiting for Let's go and Prince in the pocket. Maybe we can, uh, never mind. Prince's distracts it, but that's a GG. There's the emos. Let's send one right back at him. Might as well. He's having a ball, but uh, yeah, very solid game. 
Honestly, loving this new variation of the deck, the only thing that you're really going to struggle against is Golem. Golem's definitely difficult, not having that poison for the Night Witch. But other than that, I feel like Earthquake's definitely a good choice, but you know. Honestly, I would just use whatever you guys are more comfortable with. Anyways, let's talk into the second game right now, and hopefully we get another very solid W. Going against Lim in the second game. He's going to go Skelly's in the back. And then Archer's in the back. Okay, hopefully we're playing against Expo right now. Should be able to get an easy dub versus Expo, especially with that Earthquake that we got in the deck. Okay, there is the Expo. Let's go with this. Let's go with this. He will Fireball and Log. He might actually get some solid damage here because of my bad starting hand. Wow. And that's why Expo is probably one of the most annoying things. Like, when you know you have a bad matchup, you just Expo the bridge first play, and you try and make something happen, but... He's gonna get a lot of damage off of that, sadly enough, but it shouldn't be too much to end us right now. Like, as long as we play well and don't let him get fireball value on this right side, should be able to catch a dub. Especially once it gets into double elixir time, we're gonna be chilling. Let's go and firecracker, firecracker in back, and then let's go goblin cage. Followed up by an earthquake at the, or sorry, not. I meant to say Prince at the bridge right now. Okay, he's going to do a lot of damage once again, but can't be helped, really. He's getting some nice little out cycles for himself. Fire buff cycle. So if he goes with Expo at the bridge, like pretty soon, we can go with Roll Hogs at the bridge. Hmm. I'm trying to think of what I want to do right now. I think I honestly going to go like this and I'm going to go like this. I'm going to save my Earthquake for that Expo. But we are going to attack right now with that fireball being out of cycle. Tesla is going to clean up everything though. That's pretty sad. Not even single roll hog. Okay, that's definitely really sad. We're going to skellies get ourselves cycled back to that goblin cage. And we'll send that goblin cage in. And I wouldn't be surprised if he goes with some fireball cycle right now. Looks like we're up quite a bit of elixir. Okay, let's go in prince right now. Go roll hogs. Go bats. And just kind of spam everything right now. We're going for the kill. He's fireballing. Can we get one prince hit? Not even single prince hit. Really good defense by him. I gotta give it to him. Let's see what he does here. Poof. I'm gonna go with this. I'm gonna go bats. I'm gonna go pre earthquake in the middle for that Tesla log here on the archers. He's basically going to try and defend for the rest of the game. Not let's get any value in our goal to try and not give him final value. And just do our best we can to try and get some damage off of him. Okay, we are getting some damage on the right hand side. Let's go in Goblin Cage. Go with Royal Hogs. Let's go Skellies off the side. Let's go with an Earthquake right here. Let's go with a Log right here. Okay, good counter. Oof, this is sketchy though. It's sketchy. Let's just cage up right now. If he fireballs, I think it's a mistake. Okay, let's just Prince him back. Bro, I'm nervous, I'm not gonna lie. See if we make something happen. Let's go and log for chip over here. Maybe get that brawl to lock on, be sick. Oh my gosh, look at the right hand side tower. Okay, let's cage up. Go an earthquake like this. I'm gonna roll hogs right here. Oh my gosh, we clutched up there. Let's go and log. I'm gonna go ahead and Prince right here. I'm gonna go with Cage right here. Earthquake. Skellies. Cycle that log. Get it in there. Roll Hogs right here. Let's go with the Firecracker to try and kill these, uh, everything, I guess. <laughs> oh my gosh, Firecracker OP. Bit of a spam here. We gotta do more damage than in these final seconds. I'm gonna basically just uh, go ahead and earthquake for the damage. 
Bow on the right, on the left hand side as well. There we go. Hogs, get there, baby. And we're clutching it up, beating the expo player. These expo matches are so stressful and take forever, but it's a war of attrition. Just who is going to be the more resilient player? He gets these early expo logs to help out a lot. He tries to fireball cycle me, but with the earthquake in the deck, that modification really helping us out. You know, earthquake not what it once was, but it's still very solid to take out those buildings. As you can see there, also doing an amazing amount of chip damage for only three elixir. That's gonna put us at top 100 in the world. We made our first goal. Let's see if we can get a third W right now. And hopefully we can, uh, you know, get a perfect 3-0 and uh, get into that top 50 even. But I'll see you guys once I find the game. Hop into the third and final game going to George B. Hmm, he's got a giant in the back. Let's go and just firecracker. This will be nice. I haven't played against Giant in a while, especially I have not uh, played against Giant ever since I added this nice little cage in. But it looks like we're going against Giant Greybird. Honestly, pretty difficult matchup. But he's got, he's got everything, man. You know, he's got arrows and zap. Actually, that's really difficult. But let's go and do this. Let's go and firecracker this Mega Minion. Start chipping away at it while it's killing my Prince. Rip Prince 2019 or 2020, I mean, <laughs> shoot. Okay, let's go into Roll Hogs right now. So he has arrows and zap. Does he have a fireball? No, he's just back to arrows. This is going to be a lot of damage. That's what I'm talking about, baby. We got so much value defending that giant push, you know, baiting those arrows and the zap and everything. Going with the skellies to keep my prince at max health. He has to spend so much elixir to counter the prince, and then we can go Roll Hogs. He's got nothing for it. And that's going to be literally over 2000 damage let's go and cycle log keep chipping away okay he's gonna go with that we're gonna just cage up right now for this giant Ugh, i don't like this i feel like he's got a graveyard up his sleeve right now i don't know why like having the double small spell it's weird that it's like arrows and zap but i feel like you know i don't know let's just go with bats right here let's go with skellies off the side let's go firecracker as well Let's go and log, and then I'm actually going to set up another cage, as well as another round of bats. So overall, I'm having to spend a lot of elixir on this defense, but he's got quite the counter push from stopping this brawler is not an easy task. Even the Mega Minion, we might be able to get one shot off of the brawler, which, oh, that was close. Its first attack speed is literally insane, so if it gets even close, even with his dying breath, it's going to smack down your tower. Let's just go and log, go with another cage. Literally just spamming cages all day right now. Okay, we're gonna protect it. Go with an earthquake, and that's gonna be dead musketeer. He's sad, dude. He's so sad. Let's go with some skellies right here. Let's just go with him. Oh no no. Okay, I have to pressure. I was gonna say yeah. Uh, he has. He's gonna go with this obviously. Wow, that was super well played. I did not see that coming. That's why I went with another cage there. We are gonna do our best to try and defend right now. But yeah, it looks like he got me. Oh, super well played, super well played. I did not expect another giant to come in there, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna earthquake here, maybe. Just trying to damage this. And slow down this giant at the very least. Okay. Let's go skeletons here. And then he's gonna save up for arrows, so we're gonna go in with this real hogs. As well as some earthquake. He's got a rocket. Oh my gosh. We're actually in trouble right now. If he's got a rocket. Oh, I feel like I should pressure. I don't know about you guys. He's going to like musk in the pocket soon or something as well. Oh my gosh. He lets the prince connect. And that's GG. <sighs> Honestly, maybe he sniped me. He might have sniped me, chat. I don't even know. I don't think that's a normal deck. <laughs> I think he I think we just got sniped live on stream right now Making this YouTube video. He literally has arrows for the firecracker. He's got zap for Those bats and he's got my least favorite card my most hated card the rocket <laughs> As well as some giant prince mini pekka. Wow. I don't know. I don't know if it was a snipe, but either way GG's That's a solid 3-0 right there. You guys can see it for yourselves 
not top 50 but close enough come on guys we're 6.3 so close to that 6.4 range get to that ultimate champion real early in the season anyways here's the deck once again i hope you guys enjoyed the video smash the like button guys i really appreciate it if you would do that as well as click the sub button you know click that notification bell always get ready for when i post the video as well as share this video this channel with your friends especially if you like this deck you know this is deck is it's, it's op you know you gotta share with your clan mates your friends make sure everyone's playing this deck right now because honestly i think it's one of the best decks in the entire game in the entire meta but that's gonna be it for the video guys stay juicy everyone and peace out